What is this insanity? Dr. Michael Burry of the Big Short fame is bearish. He expects Tesla stock to implode. First off, any news article that mentions Dr. Michael Burry and uses a picture of Christian Bale is safe to ignore, right? Some say, hey, Tesla is definitely not worth 800 billion. That market cap is ridiculous. Get your battle stations ready to short this into the core of the earth. Others say, is Apple worth 2.2 trillion? But who is correct? Let's deal with the question, is Apple worth 2.2 trillion? Well, yes. They have massive piles of cash reserves. They have cash flow from services, TV, music apps, etc. They make overpriced devices that people buy every single year. They make overpriced accessories that people buy every single year. They nickel and dime people for a cable. And they quite literally use slave labor and get away with it while also preaching woke. They literally cannot go wrong at this point. Hmm, but Tesla, it just doesn't seem right. Everybody needs to find a store of value. And a lot of people are using Tesla as that store of value because they have more faith in Tesla stock and Tesla than they have faith in the federal government and this, you know, the Federal Reserve and the central banks because their view is, you know, there's there's something I can I can count there. A lot of people are using Apple and Amazon as stores of value. Other people stampeded into gold. That's why gold traded up after March. Perhaps a more important question one should be asking is, if and when Tesla implodes, will it cause a broader stock market crash as well, since Tesla is the fifth most valuable company? Or is this all irrelevant because money printing will brrr? Central banks can print money for longer than shorts can stay solvent. Of course, the problem here is timing. Maybe it crashes in the near term, or maybe it crashes in 2023, in which case, if one bets on it crashing in the near term, they will get absolutely wrecked. Is Burry correct? Well, one has to tell the whole story here. Hasn't he been shorting Tesla for over a year now? Add to this the recent record deliveries, the performance of the S&P 500, the continued weakening of the US dollar, and it doesn't seem likely that Burry will be correct in the near term at least. But mathematically, all bubbles must end sooner or later, right? Human psychology often plays out in predictable ways. FOMO sapiens, the amygdala hijacking the brain, the fear of missing out. No, must FOMO. Here is an interesting thought. Some say you only get one chance to peek through the BS of the market and make a winning bet of that magnitude like Bury did before men in suits tell you to keep quiet from now on. Maybe that is the case or maybe not. But one thing that is fairly certain is the following. Tesla does not go down if the US dollar continues to drop faster. The money printing bubble is showing no signs of slowing down just yet. Tesla is hyper-focused on electric vehicles and AI. The other companies aren't and frankly are probably too big and bloated to get anything done as fast from a decision-making standpoint as Tesla can and speed of course is king. Tesla also has a huge lead on everyone else when it comes to battery tech and AI. The company is going to keep taking market share and will dominate in the future. Assessing whether Tesla is worth 800 billion today is pretty much a risk reward play. Tesla isn't worth 800 billion today, but it's one of the companies that invests most into R&D and tries to accomplish scientific breakthroughs. Nobody knows if or when they make those breakthroughs, but if they do, they could be worth a lot more still. The whole Tesla play is based on the success of the technological development. This is the mindset that everyone had during the dot-com bubble. Literally the same. No new paradigm, potential technological miracles. This is all FUD. Tesla is the future, miles ahead of everyone else. The price to earnings ratio is a simple way of assessing whether a stock is undervalued or overvalued. Tesla's P ratio as of January 12, 2021 is over 1700. This is a pure bubble. But all these companies are old. Tesla's first mover's advantage and a crazy amount of room to grow by comparison. What do you think? Are you bullish or bearish on Tesla? Personally, and of course, disclaimer, this is not investment advice, but over a five to 10 year time frame, I think it's reasonably likely that Tesla stock does pretty well. Now, do I think it will match Bitcoin's performance? No.